So non-renewable became prominent when? Industrial. Industrial. When in hunter-gatherers, what kind of energy? Potential. Renewable, because the sun was their main source of energy, okay? Oh, hunter-gatherers. Hunter then we shifted oh, yeah. to agricultural. agricultural, which used no, potentially because their main source was? Uh, uh, wait. Wait, main source of what? Main source of energy. Well, animal power and? Biomass. Good. Now you use that word because before we used to say wood, then we learn wood is organic matter, right? Okay, good. Yeah. Non-renewable energy can regenerate. So why is what does it mean to be non-renewable? Phones away. That comes out in the video. Now you know who I'm talking to. What does it mean to be non-renewable? And iPads. Down. Down. <laughs> what does it mean to be non-renewable? When you use it, what you use runs out, and they may regenerate over a long, long period of time, but maybe not in your lifetime, okay? So what you use is gone, okay? That's true, right? This non-renewable energy can regenerate is true. Okay. It just takes a really long time. So 82% of energy comes from? Non-renewable. Non -renewable. Or 82% of world's energy use comes from. That's what you, really you're saying there. So if you typed in something else, there was a lot of options for answers. China is the number one consumer of coal. And then who's the number one consumer of petroleum? Yeah. Us. And we're the number two for? Coal and natural gas. Coal and natural gas. Good. Um, number one for nuclear is Australia. That's coming up. The United States. Oh, we just did that. Energy is most used for? Electricity. Second? Transportation. Second is transportation. And third is a tie between industry and heating and, and cooking. Michael. The highest quality of coal is as a gas. False. Because the highest quality is always? Then the second? Liquid. Then the third? Gas. So that kind of tells you about efficiency too. What type of energy is coal? Chemical. chemical and when you use it to make electricity what are the energy transformations chemical to heat, chemical to, heat to, mechanical. to mechanical to electrical okay and um, let's look at the electricity production okay so so far we've covered this 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 we were here uh, electricity production is right here so you could see that so coal First is pulverized. What does that mean? Crushed. How do we get coal? What kind? Surface and surface. What type of surface? Open pit. Open pit. Good. Once we pulverize it, what are we going to do with it? What do we do with it first, actually, before pulverizing? Clean it. And that's nowhere in the review. So we're going to go over that after. So once we clean it, then we put it to pulverize. Then we put it in a boiler. And once it's in the boiler, it's burned, and then you're going to do what? Water. Add water, blah, blah, blah. I don't have to go over that, right? What happens to this water when we're done with it? When, when it, it's, it's kind of wasted water and causes what? Thermal pollution. It's dumped back in because most power plants are located near a large body of water so that they can obtain that water easily. And then it's dumped back, and thermal pollution leads to what? Less dissolved oxygen. Good. Even though somehow you go fishing there and it's like a great fishing hole, it's super weird. All right, clean coal, where are you? I don't see you here. Let me pause. So we clean coal to reduce emissions of what? Sulfur, because that's the highest content of coal. What's the highest content of petroleum? No, that's natural gas. Good. What's the ideal thing in... Petroleum, this was a question in the quiz, actually. What'd you say? Hydrocarbons. hydrocarbons, good. So methane for natural gas, coal, sulfur, petroleum, hydrocarbons. They all have that, just higher contents, right? What part of coal has the highest sulfur? Um, Bituminous. Okay, good. So we want to reduce sulfur. We also want to reduce nitrous oxide. We want to reduce carbon dioxide and particulate matter. So we clean it. Cleaning it with water is going to reduce uh, anything you don't really want in it, any kind of impurities, because think of water as a universal solvent, and it gets rid of a lot of things. 
If we put it in wet scrubbers and try to remember that word, flue gas is associated with wet scrubbers, you're going to remove the sulfur, which is really why clean coal technology came to exist, okay? And then you're going to make a product out of it. I don't know if that will come up, but... And then we could capture the carbon dioxide, okay? And that's kind of during the process of burning. It's another step to clean coal where you can use that carbon dioxide, I mean, capture it so it doesn't go into the atmosphere and, and cause global warming, okay? This is coming up. All right, so we move on. Stages of coal, I'll open up the notes so we could get through all those questions at once and go through this little graph. So I'm just going to open them all. Pete, pre-stage, and then you've got three stages, lignite, bituminous, anthracite. If there's a sub-phase, so if it's sub-bituminous, it's going to be between lignite and between bituminous. The sub-stages, like sub-phylums, are before, okay? High abundance of heat. I mean, high abundance of lignite, but low of the other two. Bituminous is the most abundant, but it has high sulfur, and it is a good heat producer, but the ideal would be to get anthracite because it's the highest heat producer, and it's also the, the less sulfur. So you want that one, right? But there's not a lot of it. We have more bituminous, more lignite, obviously. We don't really use a lot of lignite in, in, in electricity because then you need more. Yes? Are there more? Probably, because that process to get subjected to high heats and pressure, and remember, how did coal form? Because that's not in your review either. Large plants where? Swamps. Died, and then they were subjected to the heat and pressure, and then over time they fossilized. So in order to go through those phases, you see more of the beginning phase. So over time, we'll probably get more, right? But since we're taking it out, we might not. All right, question. When you don't go to the grocery store and buy coal, so question nine, which always confuses people. Peat is not coal because it's a pre-stage of coal, so it's technically not coal. Why do we call it a pre-stage of coal? Because if you don't have peat form, you can't have lignite form. But lignite is the first stage of coal. Okay, any other questions on the stages of coal? All right, main use of coal is electricity production, and the second use is for industry. What's the main use of petroleum? Second use? Industry. What's the main use of natural gas? I could say probably tied for industry and heating and electricity, right? It's kind of there because we don't have so much of it anymore. So before it was main use was industry. Second use is electricity production and heating. Okay, so you keep that in mind. Natural gas, main use, industry, because you were always questioning. I thought all the products came from petroleum. They come from all fossil fuels. Um... Uh, yes, that's it for main use. So the types of mining, I'm not going to open the mining notes. I'll do that tomorrow, okay? I'll open all the mining notes so we can look at those because we never really did. So I'm going to skip the mining questions for now. Uh, United States has the most coal. That's true. We already did that abundance, right? Not, okay, so associated with coal. I guess I should make this bigger so you can see it. Sulfur. How is sulfur associated with coal? Because it's in the coal. And when it's burned, what happens? It releases into the atmosphere, which causes acid deposition. acid deposition, which means what? What happens when sulfur goes into the atmosphere? It reacts with what? Water to form sulfuric acid and then comes down as acid deposition, which means it could come down as what? Dust, hail, snow, any kind of precipitation, okay? Or, or solid matter, solid particles, which would be an acidic particle, okay? And if acid falls on the ground, it leads to drops in pH, because that's what an acid is. What is the acidity of acid deposition? Less than? 5.6. Okay, remember normal rain. So you're thinking neutral is 7, but normal rain is not neutral. Normal water is usually not even neutral. So that would lead to acid deposition. And how do we get water pollution from sulfur? When it drops down is one way, so it's going to lower the pH of the water, which affects all the organisms, especially uh, plants. How else do we get as, uh, water pollution from? Runoff during what? Mining, which is called what? Acid drainage, good. And erosion is also associated with coal because when you mine, you uh, uh, remove what top? 
Topsoil. Top, where you really remove what's it called? Burden. Overburden, which includes topsoil, right? And then soil susceptible to erosion. So you could gasify coal or liquefy coal. Why do we do that? Because we have so much coal, we thought, hey, we can make petroleum out of coal and we can make, right, or substitute transportation fuel. Not really efficient, though, um, and very dirty. So uranium. Uranium for nuclear power is what? U-235. And I want to show you something that I haven't shown you before, okay? And I always said I was going to show you this. Oh, I closed it. Let me just open let me pause. When fission slit, uh, splits, and nobody's ever had to know this, but these two compounds, I mean, atoms came up once on the AP exam, okay? So when, when a neutron, there's a neutron, hits U-235, you always said two daughter U-235 form, right? More neutrons, and what's here being uh, released? Heat. Heat, okay? But really what's being formed is, and I'm, I'm going to give you a slide in a picture where, so that it you could have that visual. So hold on, let me bring it. I, and I have strong faith in you guys when you see something. It's Krypton and Barium are really the daughters, okay? Somehow you still make more and more and more of that, okay? Remember, it's an uncontrollable chain reaction. So try to just remember that as what happens during fission instead of, if not, explain it the way you do and, and you'll still be good. Okay. Uh, we'll go back here to formative. Or where were we? I lost the... So, shh. Australia has the most reserves of nuclear. We are the largest producers of nuclear. Uh, why did we use nuclear power? So there's a whole slide in your notes on why, because... Why would we choose an alternative source of energy? What are the reasons? We were running out. So, because we use non renewable, you got to think, okay, what are we going to do in the future? Why else? With nuclear, one pellet is equivalent to one ton of coal. So, if we could produce more power, that's a great thing because we're more efficient, right? Little did we know. It's not efficient because there's so much waste involved that the net yield or the throughput of energy drop significantly because your your whole flow is is ruined yes so it's e yes why else did we choose nuclear there's one more reduce greenhouse gas emissions we were worried about running out we're we're always looking for new ways to improve efficiency and number three we have a serious problem with climate change and a lot of other air pollutants because sulfur which is what's mainly emitted, is not a greenhouse gas, and it's something to really be worried about. Hold on. There's a lot of uranium because it's found in most rocks, right? And um, we don't, you only need a little, right? It's easy to, easy to mine and easy to uh, put it in the boiler. Now, once uranium is in the boiler, what happens? And I don't have the visual. What happens when uranium is in the reactor core? How much time do I have? Come on, say it fast. What's the reactor core? Where the fuel rods are on on the bottom and what's on top? Control rods. I'm fuel rods on the bottom, control rods on the top. What goes on in the fuel rods? Fission. What goes on in the control rods? Absorbing neutrons to stop fission from going and going and producing too much heat. All that is contained in what? Containment structure which is made up of? Concrete and steel, thick, to keep the radiation in. We add water, and you guys know the rest. But what does a nuclear power plant have that a coal power plant doesn't have? Cooling system. Cooling system, okay? They have a cooling tower where they literally take that and make sure the heat, they have cooling system for the amount of heat that's produced because it's so much, and they also have a way to um, get that water because it, it has some forms of radiation back. Okay, when a neutron hits U-235, we did that, fuel rods absorb neutrons. So low-level waste goes with? Clothing. Clothing. Medium? Structures. Structures and high? Waste. Fission. What do we do with medium and high? Barrels. They, good. We're, we're going to put everything in barrels, right? And we're going to bury them in mountains or in the underground or in the ocean. But the fuel pellets have to go where? In the cooling. Pools. For how long? 20 years. 20 years before we do that storage. What are the 
uranium storage made out of.